Oh. We're collecting sweet chestnuts today. Following on from our incredibly British Concrete autumn. Collection. <laughs> so these are the chestnuts. And you roast them and they're traditionally eaten on bonfire night. They're lovely because you can use them as little pocket warmers, like hand warmers. You get a bag of them roasted on like a little on coals, hot coals. Generally by an old man with a top hat. <laughs> Not yeah. even kidding. Yeah. And then you put your hand in it, oh nice hand warm, and then you can also be like, oh but I'll eat one now. As you watch the fireworks. And this is how they come, they're really, really spiky. And I'm just gonna show how to tease one out. So when they're ready from the tree, they split open and then the squirrels have a filled day. Yeah, so you have to get there before the squirrels, actually. And then you just literally pull it out of its little velvet in a case. And then there's always a few accessory ones. And then there's the big boss. Yeah. Just take it over. And that's the one that's good enough to keep and eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put them in the oven, that's what we're going to do later, and then we'll eat them. Good snack. And currently, we're underneath some beautiful foliage. Mmm, it's the, and we're watching out for being hit on the head by these very spiky <laughs> balls of destruction. They're so spiky! <laughs> <laughs> let's move from this big tree. Ooh, sweet chestnuts. We're now going to roast in the oven, which I have never done before. I've always roasted them in the fire, but... Georgia apparently knows what to do. These guys want some roast chestnuts too. Just uh, sharpening the knife. It's going to have a really nice sharp knife. The sharper the knife actually, the less likely you are to injure yourself. You have to cut through the shell, but not through the nut itself. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because they're all going to split open anyway. Well, for a bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. They come away from themselves a little bit, haven't they? You only need to put one slit in, you know, to have to do this whole crisscross thing. Yeah, I swear you're supposed to do a crisscross. Crisscross. Ah. We put them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius in a fan-assisted oven, or if you have American, if you have American, <laughs> if you are American, I think it's equivalent of about 450 Fahrenheit. Is that right? That, that, that can't be right, but. <laughs> Look it up, Google it. <laughs> Google it. 20 to 25 minutes. Get all the furry bits off. Yum, yum, yum. 